Welcome to Two Cents Short of a Dollar, the show where we give our two cents and keep it 100. We're your host. That's Mo Tiz. I'm Rue, back in the building. Uh, so a fight that I heard is rumored. I've heard different things. I've heard it's rumored. I've heard it's confirmed. But I, I roughly heard something. I think November was the timeline. Uh, David Benavidez, Demetrius Andre. Have you heard about that fight? And, and can you correct me? Is it confirmed or not? Um, I don't think it's confirmed. I think you're right. I think it's just something that's been discussed and talked about by... Um, Benavidez Sr., he mm-hmm. confirmed the fight, but it's not like an official poster with an actual date. Okay. Um, but it seems like the fight is on. They're just waiting on a few things to kind of, mm-hmm. you know, get situated and then announce the fight officially. But yeah, it yeah, seems yeah. like it's well on its way. Okay, okay, okay. Um, and I, I see Benavidez working out recently. Looking, I mean, th- th- Benavidez is a big guy, but he kind of had some, like, you know, like a big tank top on some big shorts. So I couldn't really gauge the physique, you know what I'm saying, to see how close he is to fight weight or whatever. But um, that would be an interesting fight. And I, before I jump into the fight, one thing, I guess, maybe they're trying to confirm if, you know, Canelo's 3-5 PBC deal, if the second fight, maybe he'll, maybe they're trying to confirm if he'll take on the winner of this fight. So maybe they're trying to align timelines that way. Maybe that's why we haven't gotten an announcement yet. But I don't know. That's just maybe like a a guess or speculation but do you do you like this fight first of all i mean it's probably it's one of those like this is the next best thing for benavidez right he, he's he been torching people in front of him um you know dismantle caleb plant right be him canelo's not gonna fight him right so why not right andre is still a good name um a decent adversary I'm not mad at it unless Benavides decided he wanted to move up and take on all those colossal threats and, you know, Bivol and, um, you know, and Artem. Right. But I, I think I think I like the fight. Uh, it's interesting to see and kind of see how Benavides fights against another opponent who's moving up in weight, because I believe Andre's moving up. Is this the second fight? at, second one fight at 168. OK, yeah. so the second fight at 168 and Andre has been telling us for years that you know he can hang with the best of them so i yeah. think from my perspective is more so kind of analyzing andre and how he competes against benavidez mm-hmm. and seeing whether or not benavidez is just that monster right so yeah, yeah, yeah. i i i'm excited I, I will be excited for this fight um i'm excited you know any notable names versus david benavidez i know I know in the past he has struggled to get notable names to fight him, but, you know, right. he, he he got that Caleb Plant fight recently. And I guess, you know, in boxing, you know, there's no real triangle theories, but I'm just kind of like just trying to like weigh the skills of Andre, who I know can be kind of weird, kind of, mm-hmm. you know, elusive. Um, I don't know if slick's the word for him, but he can be weird and elusive, you know what I'm saying, and, and use weird angles. Versus Caleb Plant, who's like a slick fighter that gave right. Benavidez some issues in the first half of that fight. Mm-hmm. So I'm wondering if Andre can give Benavidez trouble with his his weird style. The only thing is, as the fight went on, Benavidez started wearing Plant down and wearing Plant down. And I think in the last fight we saw Demetrius Andre, I think the, the opponent name was Demont Nicholson, if I'm not mistaken. It looked like he couldn't really like hurt him to the point where Demont was in like real trouble. But it looked like at times... Um, Andre gassed a bit. Now, that was his first fight at 168. So, you know, he's had some time, but I mean, he hasn't had another fight to acclimate to the weight, but I'm sure he's been working out all this time. So maybe his conditioning will be better. But if his conditioning isn't there versus Benavidez, I think that's going to pose a huge problem. Um, so what, what, what do you see there? Like, what advantages do you see for each fighter in this fight? Yeah, and that's a good point, too. Also, another thing, too, is um, what I noticed in Andre's last fight is the punches that this mom was throwing at Andre was hurting him more compared to the punches that Andre was touching him with. Right. So, so you can tell he wasn't really acclimated with the weight class. Right. Although mm-hmm. he won the fight. Um, so I feel like Andre, he's a Southpaw. He's awkward. That mm-hmm. works to his advantage, obviously, but I think it stops there. I think Benavidez in terms of sheer volume beats him in that category. Mm-hmm. Right. Stamina, of course, he's a he's an animal. Um, punching power, I think that's up in the air. But based off what I seen in the last fight, I'm probably gonna favor Benavidez, right? Um, yeah, in yeah. terms of punching power, because 
it, it didn't look like on Andre is going to probably have a hard time kind of hurting Benavidez if he looked like how he looked in his last fight. Yeah. But I, I feel like he's probably going to make the necessary adjustments to kind of ensure that, you know, those overhands, those overhand laps kind of keep Benavidez off of him. Mm -hmm. I'm just not sure if it's going to go a long way. So the power can go either way. I'm probably leaning towards Benavidez at this particular point in time. I'm just judging based off the of last fight. And in terms of, I guess, defensive aptitude probably andre but then again i don't think he's as defensively sound as caleb plant so i think he's going to kind of lose in that department when it mm. comes to benavidez benavidez is just going to strip him away and kind of take him in deep waters and let the kind of get a stoppage or unanimous decision so yeah. i think uh, there's more upsides for benavidez especially when we're talking about size and so there's a lot of you know yeah. advantages yeah. Benavidez have. But the point you made about power is actually interesting because Benavidez is not really known as a one-shot knockout guy, but it's the punches and bunches, right? Right. And, and he never really just throws one punch. It's usually two, three, four, you know what I'm saying? So right. if those start to connect, can it be a long night? Or can he make the fight ugly like the second half of the Caleb Plant fight, you know, which was kind of due to, you know, Caleb kind of helped make that ugly too because he was getting tired. He kept clinching, but Andre, I'm uh, sorry, Benavides was the first to the action out of the clinch every time. And I think that's really how he took over that fight. So, right. I mean, I, I applaud Andre because I know he, he sent a lot of, he spent a lot of his career not getting the fights that he wanted. So I think this would be a really good fight. Um, but Something I mentioned earlier, I know we just had Canelo unanimous decision over Jermel Charlo. I know there's some rumors of Jermel wanting the get back for his brother, but I mean, you didn't take the initial fight. So why would I trust that you'll be ready now? You know what I'm saying? Right. So do you, would you, do you think it's realistic to see Canelo versus the winner of this fight? Or do you think Canelo is going to go in another direction? I think Canelo is going to go in another direction. Um, I, I don't. The only way I see Canelo taking the the winner of this fight is if Andre miraculously win, right? Or because he's going to be the underdog. If he wins, I think Canelo would then be interested in taking that fight. Mm -hmm. But I think Benavidez win. I don't think Canelo want that want that action. I'm gonna be honest. Yeah. I don't think Canelo. I think Canelo genuinely just don't doesn't want to fight uh, Benavidez because he knows the threat that Benavidez poses to him and his career. So. Right, 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 right. And then um, I remember at the end of the fight, actually, they was asking Canelo. They was like, yo, so May. So I th and I think Canelo basically confirmed he's going to fight in May, which he always does every year around Cinco right. de Mayo. Um, but then when they specifically said Benavidez, he was just like, I'll fight anybody. I'll fight anybody. But he wouldn't, like, confirm Benavidez. Right. So that's interesting, which is, which is crazy because I do think it will be a good fight. And I do think Canelo can win the fight. I just think he's aware of the risks. Yeah. And I, I guess, like you said, is he's just deciding, is it worth it for him? But it's like nobody else he's going to fight at that division is really worth it. In that case, you know, you have all the belts. Exactly. You know, you know what I'm saying? And the reason why I thought the Benavidez fight just makes sense is because Benavidez was the guy at 168 before Canelo got there. And Canelo didn't become the guy by beating Benavidez. It was a lot of other things, losing the belt on the scale, Canelo collecting them around, you know? So I get it, you know, from Benavidez, yo, I was the guy. Now you're saying you're the guy here. So fight me and let's prove who's, you know? So yeah, I would really love to see that fight, but yeah, kind of what you're saying. I think ben I would give the upper hand to Benavidez over Demetrius Andre. Um, and then from there, I guess hopefully the Benavidez Canelo, if if he wins, that is. Um maybe I don't know if Andre doesn't win, maybe we can get an Andre versus a Jermall Charlo, something like that. Yeah. Uh, I don't I don't really know at this point, man. But hopefully. Yeah, yeah I hope we get something concrete soon. Um, mm -hmm. that would be good because I think they could put together a pretty good card there. I think there's some, you know, um good names you could throw on the undercard to, to package like a good fight night. You know what I'm saying? We're not going to expect it to do half a million views, but I think you could, you could package together a good pay-per-view. Almost like Benavidez's last pay-per-view. It was like a series of good fights. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. Um, so I'll be excited to see that one.